What is going on, everybody? We're gonna try a different, uh, a different kind of series here since we can't do NFL recap anymore. I'm gonna. This is just a regular gameplay. I'll show you guys my team. Um, how we came up on 500k. I went ahead and did the Mutt Gauntlet thing that I sh end up showing you guys at the end, and then the couple coin games that I've played. And uh, yeah, that was it. So what I'm gonna try to do here is I want to go through all 32 teams. Let me know your guys' opinions on this. Like we'll start with Tampa Bay since they're the worst, then we'll go all the way up to New England. Just talk about every team, the season they had, what I think they need to do. Am I going to be an expert on every team? No. Some teams I'm going to be more in-depth in than others because I've seen those teams or like I just know more about those teams. So if this video gets 20 likes or more, I'll go ahead and keep it up for all 32 teams. If this video doesn't get that many views or that many likes, then this will be the first time we do it and then we'll just go back to something else. So starting out with Tampa Bay as the worst team. I've got ESPN up here, so that's where I'm getting like all the numbers from and stuff. They finished with, um, they were the 32 ranked team in the NFL. They finished tied with Tennessee for uh, two wins and 14 losses. I don't know how, did they play head to head? I don't know how Tampa Bay is lower than Tennessee. I'm not sure. Um, maybe because of their home record, they had a win. Who knows? Um, but Tampa Bay, the worst record in the league, two and 14. They're in the NFC South, if you guys didn't know. They had the 25th ranked passing yards 29th overall rushing yards and then on defense they were 28th overall versus the pass and 19th versus the run um i think the standouts on the team vincent jackson mike evans that everybody loves in mud uh doug martin they went ahead and got rid of um was it glennon that they got rid of um or who did they get rid of i forgot who they let go but lovey smith is their coach um, he was from the Bears last year. I like Lovey Smith as a coach, and I like um, Tampa Bay's defense. It's just like I feel like Doug Martin to me, like he was just that one year, um, that one year hit and quit. Oh, Josh McCown, that's who they let go. So they let go Josh McCown. Now, what position do I think? Of course, they could either take Winston or they could take Mariota. If they do take a quarterback, I think they should take. Um, Mariota. I don't think Winston's gonna have. A, I don't think Winston's gonna have a good NFL career. Um, but that's where they have it as have it at right now. Let me go ahead and actually go to the NFL home and see who they have at um, who they have taking Tampa Bay. Who do they have Tampa Bay taking? I wonder if they have. I know they probably have it up there, but oh yeah, they don't have it with what I'm looking at, but I'm pretty sure they're going to take QB. The question is, do they take Mariota or do they take, um, Jameis Winston? Me, I think you take, I think you take Winston. I mean, not Winston, I think you take Mariota. I just don't think Winston is the complete package. And then the, um, combine just got finished this weekend. And I don't think um, I don't think Winston had that good of a a um, combine. He ran a lot slower than I was expecting, and it is what it is. Uh, so what does Tampa Bay need? They're in the NFC South. So to me, the NFC South is a toss up every year. You don't know what the Falcons are going to give you. The Panthers. You don't know what direction they're going in. And the Saints, I definitely thought this division was wide open for the Saints to take. So I think the Bucks clearly have a shot at winning it. I like their defense. I like what it's constructed of. And I like Lovey Smith as a coach. Now, what do you do on offense? I think you have two star stud wide receivers. Mike Evans and Vincent Jackson. I feel like you, you can win with them. They're big body wide receivers. I think something needs to be done with Doug Martin. I don't think Doug Martin or Bobby Rainey is really the answer. Um, Doug Martin led the team with 494 rushing yards, and he didn't even play a majority of the season, I don't think. And Bobby Rainey only had 400. And then Mike Evans and Vincent Jackson led them both in receiving. Mike Evans had 12 touchdowns on the year. Um, I think Mike Glennon's good. I think they might need to bolster up their offensive line, and they need to do something about a running back. They also have them... Let me see if they have them... Um, if they have them picking, I feel like they're going to have multiple picks. 
in the first round. I feel like I just feel like they would. Let's go ahead and take a peek here. New England, Seattle, Green Bay. Uh, no, they only have one pick in the first round. So the question is, who do they take? Clearly, you got a quarterback or running back. I think you take a. I guess they're. I guess it's just safe to take a quarterback because I feel like there's so many there's so many capable running backs in the league that you can go ahead and take a quarterback and you can find you can find yourself a running back and I don't think it's going to be that uh, that difficult. So let's go ahead and take a look at their stuff, their defense. Like I feel like their defense. They have a good defense. I feel like their defense did good. Let's go ahead and take a peek at their past schedule. Um, were they were these winnable games? Could they have won these games? So, week one, they lost to Carolina by six. Week two, they only lost by two points. Week three, they got blown out. Uh, they beat the Steelers. They lost there. So they got blown out. I'm trying to think of how many were blowouts and how many were games they could have won. Two have been blowouts. That's by six, by five, by ten, by seven, by one, by... Like, their games were right there. They only got smacked three times all season. Every other game was within 14 or within seven. So I feel like they're right there. They held their opponents to around 21 points. And again, I don't think it's the defense. I just think they need to do something uh, about that offense. Do you go quarterback or do you go running back? Again, like I said, I think you can easily find a uh, you can find a running back out there. There's so many two running back systems. I mean, I'm not saying that they're going to get any of these running backs, but you've got running backs of high caliber as Amar, Sean, Adrian Peterson, and DeMarco Murray that are might not even be with their original teams this year, uh, this upcoming next year, and that's just that's just the big name ones off the top of my head. You could easily pick up a running back. I like the way their defense is constructed again. Wide receivers. I'm not quite sure how their offensive line is. I don't know um, how good their offensive line is. If it's good, if it's bad, who really knows? Let's go ahead and see what else they have going on on the blog they think Jameis Winston might be the he might be the one for them but it's like uh, do you really make that and Lovey Smith has been saying they won't they won't sit out in free agency so they're gonna go for people um, let's see last year they picked up Anthony Collins he was a busted left guard they picked up Josh McCown who was disappointing they picked up Michael Johnson Michael Johnson's good. They picked up Alderon Werner. Um, so they made good free agent moves last year, and I think that they can do what they need to do. Um, they got to figure out a contract for Levante David, which you you have to resign him. You don't have a choice. You you've got to lock that man up. Um, longer visit coming. Move for new moves. Marcus Mariota. We already know inside the huddle. Mike Glennon. Like, and they're still even saying that they picture Glennon as part of their future. So it makes me think, like, I just, I don't pull the trigger on either of those two quarterbacks. That's just me. I just, mm, I'm not really sold on either of them, but, and it looks like they're going to go ahead and re-sign Logan Mankins, which is, which is huge. We already know that he's a boss coming from New England. And, the, but there's, there's reports that Lovey Smith likes, um, Jameis Winston. I mean, he is from Florida. Maybe it'll help out the area, help out the tickets. Because, like, when the Falcons play them and I see the games on TV, um, they, the stands aren't that full. It says they're targeting defensive ends and, of course, a quarterback. So we'll see what they end up doing. I think, again, that that, um, that conference is up for grabs. They can really do their thing. They did not get blown out. All their games were right there. They were winnable except for three. And who knows what even happened in those games. So I think they need to focus on their offensive line. I mean, I mean, of course you can make the defense better by adding pieces. Who doesn't want to add pieces to their defense? I think even Seattle Ward or New England or any team like that. But you got to focus on the offense. Find yourself a running back. Running backs, they're out there. Quarterback. And just pick the pieces on the offensive line and do what you need to do. I like the coach. I like everything that's going on. 
and I feel like they should just keep it up. So again, guys, let me know what you like about this series. If you like it, if we get more than 20 likes, we'll go ahead and do every team. And here's me showing you guys that I completed that gauntlet. So I appreciate it, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe again. Like it if you want to see more. And as always, 